It's getting mental in the central. The Brewers take on the Cincinnati Reds this Wednesday, September the 23rd. We've got a nice little deal, 15% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net if you use the code SCC. I've got your free pick for that MLB matchup right here. My name is Allie Burns. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. I'm showing the Reds at minus 155. There's a total of eight. And I've got Chip Chirimbus on the line to help us break this one down. Chip, what can you tell me about these two teams? Well, to start with, uh, Cincinnati's come a long way to even up the records between these two. Uh, they're currently a game over 500, and Milwaukee is a game under 500. And who would have expected at this time? The Reds have done this by winning eight of the last nine, and they really, um, this is a very strong number between two 500 teams. And if you want to dissect the game and find out exactly why, let's look at the starting pitchers. Milwaukee's sending Adrian Hauser to the mound. He's one in five. He's lost five straight decisions. He had four games where he was removed, where the Brewers won the game after he came out. But he hasn't been all that effective. One in five, 5.33 ERA. 50 innings alley, 57 hits. Uh, he's not that difficult to make contact with, and that's obvious. The Brewers are 3-8 and eight against right-handers in their last 11 and 2-8 and eight in their last 10 on the road. So Milwaukee has a lot to show, and that's why this is such a strong number for a team that is just at 500. But if you take a look at them the last three weeks, um, if you know through the baseball, I've been riding the Reds. We were 3-0 and oh Monday night, by the way, in Major League Baseball. Trevor Bauer, 4-4, four and four, has, has lost it. Yeah, it, it's, it's a nice run for us this year already, and too bad the season's so short. 4-1 and one at one time. He's now 4-4. Four and four. ERA's 1.8. He didn't get much support from the Reds at times here. Um, he's lost four of his last five decisions overall, but Ali, his whip is 0 0.82. The problem is Cincinnati hasn't played that well against uh, um, the Brewers. They're, they've only four, they won four of the last 13 meetings. But this number is indicative of the way Cincinnati's playing and that the Blue Brewers have been floundering. They really, it looks like, I think we might've mentioned this before, I think that window of opportunity to be a champion, to be in the World Series, to has closed for the Brewers. They just don't seem to have it. That um, year where they had electric relief pitching and, and these guys that just come in in the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth innings. And you don't have to go nine innings anymore. You can do it in seven. It's not there anymore. I'm taking Cincinnati over the Brewers. I'll lay it. I'll lay it. Bold play. Chip Cherimbus is laying the minus 155. And honestly, I can't blame you. The very the thing I like the most about this Reds pitcher and Trevor Bauer is that he's kind of coming off of a bad start. He threw five strikeouts and gave up two earned runs over seven innings in a 5 nothing loss to the White Sox, but I'm looking for him to improve here. And for most pitchers, if you said they threw five strikeouts and only gave up two over seven, you'd be like, hey, that's yeah. a good outing. But in the game before, he had 10 Ks. In the game before that, he had 12. So for Trevor Bauer, that's not his best performance. And then when, I'm not going to lay the price though because I find that when Cincinnati does win the game which I think they will it's typically a low score it's like four to one or three to two or something like that with Bauer trying to um, come off of this bad start that he had I'm going to take it under in the first five here because I'm thinking it'll be about four runs and I don't see Cincinnati or yeah I don't see Cincinnati knocking out four runs in the first five I don't see the Brewers hitting off Bauer like no. hardly at all so we'll see what happens Chip says lay the 155 with the Cincinnati Reds I say look at it to go under in the first five that's your free MLB pick from Picks and Parlays